nailed it. What is up, peoples of YouTube? I'm the Motorcycle Mick, and today... See what that was? My voice was out of tune, and my bike might be too. So, today we're talking about tuners for your motorcycle. Yeah, get in that tuner, get out that power you've been missing on. Before I get into that, if you are new to this channel, or you've been watching for a very long time and haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm creating a new challenge for you guys, and you could possibly get a reward at the end. My challenge is to have you go out and buy one person, just one, to hit subscribe on this channel and watch my videos. Once I hit a thousand subs, one lucky person will win a bell helmet. Now, once I hit 500 subs, I'm giving away a pair of these Mad Bike gloves, and I'll even get you the color that you want, and maybe a couple other goodies. Remember, I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday around three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. For a while now, I've talked about how my bike has a garbage tune. Don't believe that to just because I have a Harley tuner on my motorcycle, it's garbage. Harley tuners have their place, just like FP3s and the one I'm getting here in a little bit to get from my mailbox. Let's talk about some tuners real fast. So what it does, it plugs into your motorcycle and allows you to look at tables, VEs, which is your exhaust numbers, intake numbers, throttle position, everything. It's, it's basically like taking a computer to your motorcycle and being able to look at every aspect of everything going on because your bike has sensors everywhere to detect things and with a tuner you might be able to even read them the reason you want to add tuner to your bike is once you start adding things like an intake and exhaust your bike is gonna have messed up fuel numbers now your bike will adjust a little bit the computer of it the brain will adjust a little bit but it can't make drastic changes it's just not the way the computer works it can't really actually adjust for drastic changes in fuel ratios air intake exhaust so you need the little tuner to be able to adjust those or even have a tune in there that can program your bike to be able to run better but now that we got those technicals out of the way i'm specifically looking at three tuners today only three just because for my bike there are three tuners that I, well bikes i should say there are three two uh, three 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 tuners that i use on my heritage right now i have a screaming eagle tune programmed into it now to do that i use the pro street tuner but the issue i run into now is because i have have the tab performance mufflers on my bike it needs to get adjusted so the screaming eagle tuner is not what i need to use right now on my sportster that you guys have seen me ride i have the vance and heinz fuel pack 3 or more commonly known as an fb3 and then the one that i'm going to pick up from my mailbox right now was sent to me by tab performance i have some badass mufflers on this bike and it sounds badass but i'm losing power because my bike's not giving me enough fuel and i want to hear the true removal of my tabs on me so I'm gonna break down these three tuners right now for you guys and we're starting off with the Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner. When I bought this bike it had the Screaming Eagle Street Cannons. This bike already comes with a ventilator air cleaner. The Screaming Eagle Tuner were good. There are two things added onto a motorcycle. Screaming Eagle, their tuner is gonna have it pre-programmed. They're gonna have been run dyno tunes on motorcycles to create the map that goes into the bike and when I had that it worked good but second day I had the Street Cannons on my motorcycle I almost got hit actually on the way home there I almost got hit once too so then I ran into a debacle I wanted that Harley sound and unfortunately from the Screaming Eagle Street Cannons people say after a few thousand miles they break in and sound good but I did not want to wait a few thousand miles in reality I've had my lot pipes on this bike save my butt more than a few times and the downside of the Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner is that it does not come with an auto-tune feature what you can do is hit the little record button that's what it is on that box it's a record button and you clear out the data and then you ride for 15 minutes and then come back and look at the data and ride for 15 minutes but it's highly inefficient if you do want to be able to do anything with that bike you have to get the smart tuner for it which is another $400 setup right there for just the tuner which is $299 and the smart tune setup you know we're sitting around $600 then again you have to add the cables to be able to communicate with the bike so that's like 30 bucks and at that point you're getting close to I mean all of a sudden done installed you're looking eight nine hundred bucks but the, I mean there is a benefit to the uh, smart tune program they have or the little box and setup they got for the Pro Street Tuner is that it ha does have wideband O2 sensors for it. Harley should come out with those, sell them by themselves. But there's no way to view that data unless 
you are have it plugged into a computer which kind of sucks because then you got to have something on your bike where you can plug into all the time and even with that smart tune program it's all gonna be within EPA compliance and the problem with that is is that the EPA thinks that they know best they know what's going on hardly getting punished for it is a bit ridiculous because I could put the biggest baddest meanest bill on this motorcycle and it still would not put out a quarter of the pollution of that car so everything Harley's putting out including this screaming eagle pro street tuner this is not the super tuner by the way is limited by the EPA so then you could go another route that's where on my Sportster I have the FP3 which is actually a really great tuner for the person that's just riding day to day i mean it's gonna have that flash tune on there and then it's gonna have the auto tune feature how that works is you plug in the tuner to your bike it bluetooth connects to your phone where you have an app do the little update and then you can select what pipes you have on your motorcycle and then what intake and it puts a base map in there so that base map is something that based off what you have based off a bike they've run all this stuff on and parameters and then you can put on the auto tune feature which all this mind you costs $3.99 for the tuner and at that point you are able to monitor your tune auto tune your bike you gotta ride at different speeds different areas you typically want to ride your bike for about 50 miles consistently to do a complete tune on it because you're gonna see a little chart with the boxes and you're gonna want to try and make a, like a football shape in there diagonal but it gives you the ability to tune your bike by yourself you don't need its own with a dyno but also limiting factor that is that not dyno tune your motorcycle with an fp3 i know a lot of places won't the fp3 is great for the price it's got a pretty good working app and you don't need to leave it on the motorcycle just like with the screaming eagle you do not have to leave it on the motorcycle once your bike is tuned you can actually unplug it and it saves the tune into your ecm but the problem is that with fp3 it's not like it flashes your ecm if you go to a plastic surgeon you're wanting to get a better looking face they can give you botox which is just injections that help you in the in the short run it creates a different look or what they can do is surgery where they basically replace your face so when they do that with the fp3 you're kind of just getting botox it doesn't really actually replace the tune in your motorcycle it flashes over the one you already have existing so if anything does go wrong it reverts back to the original tune so if anything goes out of the parameters or your computer freaks out it's like well i can't be doing this it reverts back to the factory tune but it is a good path for 399 it's a good choice then we get to the one I've been waiting for. What Tab sent me. If you guys haven't heard of Tab Performance and you've been watching my channel, you've obviously missed a lot. And I should have mentioned this, I don't know if I have here or not, but this video is sponsored by Tab Performance. tuner i've been waiting for i've been so excited to get they said they were going to send me one which threw me blew me away threw me off i was so surprised not that they were like they're not those kind of people but it's like you know what i didn't expect it and so they sent me a mother fucking power vision that's right a dino jet power vision tuner and they're like yeah they're like, hey, try this out on your motorcycle. See what you think. It's going to give you what you want. And I'm like, okay. So as I'm headed to home right now, because it's literally in my freaking mailbox, I'm going to talk about the Power Vision because I'm super excited. But the difference between the FP3 and the Power Vision and the Screaming Eagle and the Power Vision is the Power Vision, it plugs in and it comes with a screen. The screen allows you to be able to monitor everything going on on your motorcycle. Temperatures, voltage, everything. So it's like having your own little performance kiosk for your motorcycle on your handlebars and the screen does not rely on Bluetooth it is a standalone system so that you never have to worry about your phone failing loss of internet connection anything like that it's gonna be on there showing you everything going on so if there is something wrong you want to check where your throttle positions at all the different things you can do with this screen it comes with a wire you plug in runs all the way up to here and it gives you a way to monitor your bike and not just look at it with advanced and hinds you can have your phone up there mounted showing you all these different things but with the power vision you don't need to have it you can have your phone in your pocket listen to music you don't have to keep an app open and tab performance has them on sale right now i think it's like 429 and it's a badass tuner i don't know why you wouldn't jump on that and the nice thing is, is you can go take this get your bike dyno tuned which 
Michigan Baggers has a dyno. And if you don't know about that, this week and this Sunday, they're doing a 550 deal. So it's 550 for a tune license and dyno time to dial that tune in. So 550, I mean, you're gonna pay $400 for an FP3 and they give you all the data to take with you. So if you ever need it, you can just put it in. What a freaking power vision. I mean, in my eyes for tuning, it's probably the king. Many of you probably use the super tuner from Harley. The power vision is kind of like the same thing except for it's got the screen and lets you do all these things where you can actually do auto tuning too to where you're able to input a tune with a base map for what you have and then be able to take and build off that with your auto tune which is you riding around and i'm finally gonna have a proper tune what i consider a proper tune on my motorcycle no more running lean no more having that excessive heat but for now guys i'm stuck at another red light actually i think it's the same red light every damn time whatever tuner you pick just make sure you know what you're getting into and what you need do your research about the tuner that you're gonna get for what you have if you have a bunch of screaming eagle stuff on your bike the Pro Street Tuner is probably pretty good. If you have a bunch of Vans and Hines stuff or, I mean, other stuff on your bike, the FP3 is probably pretty good. All of them are good, but for me, the Scream Eagle one's probably better, way better for just Harley performance only, which would be Scream Eagle. Don't forget about that subscribe challenge I've given you today. I want everybody to go get one person to sub to this channel and watch the videos, because like I said, once I hit 500, I'm giving away a pair of these gloves, yeah. And then once I hit 1,000, I'm giving away a bell helmet. For now though, guys, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a big thumbs up if you did. And as always, I hope you have a great day, evening, night, morning, afternoon, tea, brunch, lunch, nightcap, dessert, pizza, crumpet, breakfast sandwich, midnight snack, and remember, Remember to always ride for freedom. Hey, the eh, eh. is old school. They say I'm not supposed to, but don't make my own rules. Dog, this shit is old school. Yo, bitch, man, that's so new. She been on my whole crew. Yeah, that chick is ran through. Ha. This shit sound like old too. Pull up and I drop the roof. And that bitch a old school. These niggas acting brand new. I just keep it old.